What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I'm going to show you how to move Steam games from one drive to another and change the default install location from one drive to another. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Steam, go into your Steam uh, menu and go to settings, and you're going to click on downloads. In downloads you're going to see Steam library folders. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see this window pop up here. You'll see that I have three different um, libraries set up, one on my C drive, one on my D drive, and one on my E drive. And it also tells me which is the default, my E drive, which is where I have a um, lot more space and it's a solid state drive, so I'm able to run them a lot quicker. It shows me how many games are installed. It shows me how much space is used on each one and it shows me how much free space is available on each one. Uh, to add a new folder, um, you'll likely only have a C drive for now just go to add library folder go ahead and click on this drop down here and choose the drive you want to create it on and then let's see you just want to go ahead and go to new folder it'll have steam library already built in and you're going to click on select and now you'll see that it added a new library and it's under the z drive and there's 91 gigabytes of free space so let's go ahead and close that and now, when we download a game, we'll be able to choose where we want that game to be stored. So, I'll go ahead and show you, let's see, let's install Half-Life. So, when I install Half-Life, it says choose location for install. You can actually choose any location um, that you'd like within this menu. And then once you choose a location, you just go ahead and install it. If your game is already installed, then you can uh, right click on the game, go to properties, go to local files, go to move install folder, and then you can choose which drive you want to move your install folder to. And then just hit move folder. And that'll take probably a while depending on the size of the game, but it's usually a lot better than having to re-download it. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy process. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Peace.